Wendell, why does the internet suck so much? It's not the internet, it's ISPs. In this video, what we're gonna do is show you guys how to speed up your YouTube, your Twitch, Netflix, all the services that stutter on your internet. In fact, even some of the websites are gonna get a speed boost from this. And we're also going to teach you guys how to secure your connection because right now your ISPs can see everything you do, every website you go to. Even if you're in private mode on Chrome, they can see every website you go to. Disclaimer, and a lot of websites though, keep logs. Go ahead. The, uh, well, disclaimer, the disclaimer is that, okay, an ISP is split into two halves, the half where you're on their network and the half where you get on the internet. And this fix only works if your connection to their network is really good and it's just that their connection to the internet that's a little spotty. That's the disclaimer, but so far, almost everyone that I've talked to that's been, sw you know, that's switched over to a VPN has benefited in some way. And, uh, you know, a lot of the problems in this have been outlined already in a video. We made um, a video just showing how the ISPs are kind of abusing the internet. They're not exactly throttling. But the problem is that they're not upgrading their network and they're sending all of your traffic. Like if you want to go to Netflix or YouTube, everyone, they send them all down the same highway. So you end up with this bumper to bumper traffic. Whereas a VPN connects over here, takes service roads, takes back roads and just gets there. Even if it's a longer route, it's less congested. So that's why VPNs are usually uh, faster. If a VPN is faster than your raw internet connection, it's a sign of shenanigans at your ISP because that should never be the case. Yeah, I guess the first thing I'll mention is the, you know, I, I did some tests uh, with speedtest.net and those are not entirely accurate. It's going to look like you're getting way faster speeds than you are and that's due to compression, but I'm not going to really get into the details of that in this. It, yeah, it may speed up a few things because most connections on the internet do offer gzip compression for text and that sort of thing, maybe even images and, and whatnot. Uh, and with a VPN, you should have a little bit more overhead because you're accessing the internet through, uh, you know, a different, I guess you're accessing it from over here. You're, you're taking a, a longer route generally, but it's also encrypting, uh, you know, your, your connection. So it should generally slow you down a little bit, but back to the VPN. Now, here's the way this works. You go online, uh, private internet access, it encrypts everything, makes you anonymous on the web and your traffic now is just packets. They have no idea what you're doing. It's just just packets floating out there. So if, if you're going to Netflix, you may not have to go through all the nonsense. You're not going to have to go uh, through all the congestion. You can go through a side door to, into Netflix because they don't know where you're going at Verizon or Comcast or whatever. So they don't route your traffic the same way that they, they route all the other people who are going to Netflix or YouTube or whatever. Um, anyway, I went ahead and picked up the uh, $39.95 for the full year. Uh, probably the best money I've spent in a good long while. So when I get on YouTube and that sort of thing um, with private internet access, there's no stuttering. I don't have to wait for 1080p videos to load. You know, Wendell, I've even been watching a lot of um, uh, ultra HD, like 4K videos on YouTube, and I have that's not stuttered once. Uh, when I switch over just to my standard connection with Comcast, there is stuttering and buffering, and you guys see the buffering thing in the middle of the screen. You see that all of the time. So there's two major benefits there. It just makes everything way smoother. Uh, and, um, you know, and again, they can't see anything you're doing now. Um, you know, after you get this thing installed, the way it works is, um, you buy this and then it comes with an executable file and that executable file, you just run it on your computer. You can get a little bit more advanced, and install it on your router if you want to, but we're not going to get into that in this video. Uh, we're just going to talk about the installation it installs. And very simply, let me go ahead and open it up here on the bottom. After it installs, you uh, put in your username and password that you get from them, and then you uh, can connect. There's some advanced options over here. You want to leave most of this stuff alone. Uh, you want the connection type to be UDP and just leave the remote port on auto. Um, there's also one thing I really like about this. It's a VPN kill switch. Now, this will be running in the background at all the time, uh, but you know sometimes it can become disconnected or something can happen, and you'll just drop your connection for a few minutes. Now, when you do that, you're vulnerable. If you're torrenting or something, all the packets can, you know, again, be visible by your ISP. So if you turn on the VPN kill switch, what this is going to do is if for any reason uh, your access to uh, private internet access or your VPN goes down, it will kill your connection to the internet and uh, you'll be online and it'll just be no more connection. I I've got it off for now. I should turn it back on. Um, there's also DNS uh, leak protection and then there's um, IPv6 leak protection. So I'm leaving, uh, I should probably turn all these, all three of these things on. So and there's also encryption options here. Um, AES-128 is just fine. 
I'd like AAS-256. I mean, you can, but (laughs) AAS-128 is pretty much impervious to junk. I mean, it's it's good enough, you know? Uh, (laughs) (laughs) All right, if you're you're really worried, you can use the AAS-256. I mean, why not? I think AAS-256 is the one that... There's a there's a proof in the, like applied cryptography, uh, mm-hmm. which is a book somewhere, that uh, it would take more computation power than there exists atoms in the universe to uh, break an AES two fifty six key or something like that. Yeah, and that's why I've said that AES one twenty eight is probably enough because AES two fifty six is um, just a little bit of an overkill. But hey, why not go for the overkill, right? <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> let me go ahead and show you guys um, just how easy this is to get connected here. I'm going to move your uh, camera away for a second. I'm going to disconnect. When it disconnects, you'll notice that, hey, it's red. Oh, no, it's not connected. And then you just go up here to connect, or you can connect to you know any server you like. Just connect, and then that's it. You're online. And there's an Android app and an iOS app as well. This is really handy if you have a laptop and you go to coffee shops. Those connections are totally unsecure, so you really do want to be using a VPN because it will encrypt all of your traffic and therefore make you the most secure person in that coffee shop or in that remote location. Um, other than that, it's just really going to speed up your connection a lot. And if you want to see, or not speed up your connection, it's going to make your connection a lot better. It's, it's going to slow it down a little bit. So the next thing I want to do is show you guys how to do a test of your connection. Go to uh, testmy.net. It'll give you the most complete picture of your, uh, your, ne- you know, your network. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off the screen here because it's going to start showing my IP address and that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, I don't want you guys to see all of that. But just go there, and um, you're usually going to lose a few megabits per second, and your ping is going to go up by, like, seven or eight, you know, milliseconds. So, in my opinion, that's not too big of a deal. But if you have a very slow connection, like, if if you've got, like, a five megabits per second connection, this is really going to slow you down. If you've got 10, 20, 50, you're going to be okay. So, uh, Wendell, uh, you did something a little different. You used Linode. I like things to go insanely fast, and the first couple of VPN providers I tried were not insanely fast. Um, the one that you found that is actually, we've got a link on the site, is as fast or faster than Linode. But if you have a Linux box somewhere on the internet or you want to rent a VPS from Linode, because Linode has pretty cheap VPSs, you can set up an SSH SOX proxy, which is not the same thing as tunneling all of your traffic. It's really just tunneling internet traffic and a few other things. But uh, it was really useful for testing Netflix and some other stuff. So you're you're in that way. It's not a complete end-to-end VPN. It's really just a proxy for HTTP traffic mostly. You can do other stuff other than HTTP, and that worked well for me for my needs and because I could set it up in about three seconds, and I didn't need any software. So if you're uh, you know a more advanced user, you can do something like that. Um, if you want something simple, bottom line is. Just click on the screen right now. It'll take you over to um, you know private internet access. If you want to um, do the SSH thing, you can just Google uh, SSH socks proxy setup, and it's pretty easy. It's yeah, it's not as difficult as you may think, especially if you have some experience with computers. But uh, this is definitely the easiest way to go. Uh, it's inexpensive, and um, I want to know from you guys what your experience is with it. I've had a couple people, like maybe two out of a couple hundred people say that sometimes the CSS on certain sites wouldn't load and they'd have to reload it. I've also experienced one time on Twitch, I went on to Twitch and the chat wouldn't load up on the side. I had to disconnect and reconnect to the the VPN and then the chat loaded on the side. So that could have just been a Twitch, you know, problem because Twitch always has weirdness like that where you have to reload and sometimes things don't load correctly. So um, lastly, I've been talking to the guys at Private Internet Access and uh, I, you know, I wanted to interview one of them, and they said, "Sure, uh, we'll, we'll do. We'll, you know, we can do an interview." I want to know what you guys want to know. So, uh, in the comments on Tech Syndicate, let me know what you would like me to ask them about. Maybe security, privacy. What do you want to talk about? Speed, how it works, anything. I'll ask them anything you guys like within reason. Uh, I'll go through there and find some of the best questions, and then we'll send them over to uh, Private Internet Access and just see what they have to say. I also want to note that this company is based in the United States, and that is a factor for some people. That's uh, you know something that some people worry about. Uh, but I also want to say that this is not something to use to hide illegal activity. If you're doing something illegal, you're going to eventually get caught. That's not what this is for. This is to basically take back the internet now and make it sort of the way it's supposed to be, you know, making your connections to certain points better uh, and just getting their prying eyes off of your packets. That's what this is about, not about giving you a way to do shady things. So don't even think about that. That's, I'm not going to endorse that, and I think if you do that, I hope, I hope you get caught if you do illegal crap on the internet. There, I've said it. <laughs> so anyway, um, 
again, let us know what you think, and hopefully we can help you to uh, improve uh, your internet connection. Yeah, and it'll help us by helping you because it helps us, helps us when you sign up. So everyone's helping each other. What a helpful thing, Wendell. Just so much helpfulness, I'm going to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do what we can. Uh,